On the 22nd of June, SICA engaged with its UK membership in the important topic of the growing compliance requirements for the accountancy profession and the members therein. Important topics such as developments within anti-money laundering, the requirements of FATF, and the transitioning from a traditional financial reporting environment to an integrated overall corporate reporting environment to include both financial and non-financial information, including developments in sustainability were discussed. Special guests included the CEO of Standard Bank. Making sure that you comply with the CRS reporting, making sure that you comply with onboarding requirements of compliance is tough. It's something you have to take extremely seriously and... Who looked at it from a UK perspective in terms of systems and processes that the banks have put in place. You know, it, things from a financial reporting perspective should be clear. They should be accurate, they should be valid. From a risk management perspective, you should know what your risks are to screen their members, to screen their clients, and the type of data and information that they report on to ensure the highest quality of data and securities with regarding the clients with which they deal with. I think the smaller practitioner community will need to align closer together, and we can support that through discussing these common type of challenges, regulatory behavior, reporting that they that, that, that they do need to do. We also had discussions from a previous chair of the SICA NTC committee who gave a business perspective of the growing requirements that the profession needs to consider, as well as the new ethical challenges that the members who are both directly involved and indirectly involved in transactions such as tax structuring would need to consider. But the, the, the idea of, of the coach of of that moral responsibility of being, you know, ethically responsible, showing your integrity by virtue of who you are and what you do, is why we're here. The event was attended by approximately 50 people live, as well as over 300 members on the live stream. It was a real success and it was fantastic to interact with the UK members again. To watch the detailed recording of this, please click on the link below.